Statistics is maths that we use to make sense of lots of measurements or values. And we're usually collecting this information to answer a question. So here is some data shown for test results. And we could answer this question, how did students go on a test? Underneath is some data answering this question, what dogs are the most popular? And you can see people's favourite dogs are listed. One of the things we do is calculate a number that represents all the numbers. And you often hear about people calculating an average. Here is the average for this data. And its real name is called the arithmetic mean. Or we just call it the mean. It represents all those numbers. To calculate the mean, you add up all the numbers that are listed and you divide by how many numbers there are. There are lots of different sorts of typical numbers, for example the median. In the median we put them in order from smallest to biggest and find the middle one. For this data here the middle number is between 55 and 56, so we would have said 55.5 is the median. Another way of getting a typical number is to look for the one that turns up the most. For this data there are 5 58s, so we would say the mode is 58. That's the number that's measured the most. We often put our data into tables so we can make sense of it. So here is a frequency table. On the left, the first one has dog breed. And on the right, how frequently people picked that dog breed. So Border Collie was the most popular out of all these dog breeds because four people picked it. Sometimes we need to group the data. The table on the right has data grouped so that the scores are between 45 and 49, two people, 50 and 54, seven people, etc. So a table is a great way of showing data. We often show the data from a table on a graph. So here is a graph here explain, showing the same data that was over here, but it's a bit easier to see which one's the highest and that there's a gap here. This is called a histogram. Another sort of graph is called a pie graph. A pie graph is great for showing what proportion of each breed there is. You can see straight away that this orange one, which is Border Collie, is the biggest. It's also useful to know how spread out the information is. So here are one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of data, which has an average of 52. Here are six other pieces of data that also have an average of 52. But when you look at it, you can tell straight away something is different. We will be using the range to find out how spread out the numbers are. So for the first lot of data, the range is 54 take away 50, which is 4. For the second piece or set of data, the range is 65 take away 39, which is 26. So you can see straight away that while they have the same average, there's something very different about the two sets of data.